All right, in this video, I'm going to be working Algebra 2 Quiz 7.1, which is all about complex numbers and complex number arithmetic. So we're going to start by finding the value of a minus 2b. So a minus 2b is going to be 3 minus i minus 2 times negative 2 plus 4i. And we're just going to do some distribution. Negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. Negative 2 times 4i would be negative 8i. We'll combine like terms and get 7 minus 9i. If p is equal to 5 plus 2i and q is 2 minus 5i, what's p times q? I'm going to set up for the multiplication. Okay, that's going to be p times q, and we're going to do 4 and 5 times 2, 5 times negative 5i, 2i times 2, and 2i times negative 5i would be negative 10 times i squared. Okay, but we know that i squared is negative 1, so negative 10 times negative 1 would be positive 10. So I'm going to get 20 minus 21i. Right, if w and x are those two things, what is the value of x divided by w? Okay, I know I changed... The, you know, like the equation you're looking at might be different, but the way that you solve it is going to work out exactly the same. I'm just going to work this one as it's as it is on the one that's printed out right here in front of me. But I know that you know like it might be different for your form A even or form B because uh, we were we kind of we edited this problem a couple of times to try to be fair on the simplification. So x divided by w would be three minus i divided by two plus four i. And if we're going to divide those two things, we're going to need to multiply by the conjugate on top and bottom. Conjugate of the denominator on top and bottom. Okay, so the conjugate of 2 plus 4i is 2 minus 4i. So I multiply by this you know, clever form of 1. Because if I multiply by 1, I'm not really changing the number. But this will cause the denominator to become a real number. Okay, so if I multiply 3 times 2, I get 6. 3 times negative 4i. Negative i times 2. And negative i times negative 4i would be positive 4 times i squared. And we're going to divide by 2 times 2, negative 8i plus 8i minus 16i squared. And then I'm going to say, all right, 6 plus 4 times negative 1 minus 14i all divided by 4. Those two things cancel off. Minus 16 times negative 1. So it would be 4 plus 16 is 20. All right, so this is going to be 6 minus 4 is 2, 2 over 20, minus 14 over 20, be 7 over 10 i's. All right, the values of x that make this equation true, I'm not going to be able to factor that. There's no factors of 13 that add up to negative 4. So I'm going to use x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c, so 4 times 13 is 52, All divided by 2 times 1. 16 minus 52, that's going to be negative 36. Right, the square root of negative 36. That's the square root of 36 times the square root of negative 1. That's going to be 6i. All right, so 4 plus or minus 6i divided by 2. And then I'm going to divide both of those things by 2. So it's going to be 4 over 2 plus or minus 6 divided by 2 is 3i. Those are going to be my two roots. Or pardon me, the two values of x that make the equation true. So the next few go off of this y equals negative 2 plus i number. y bar, the conjugate of y, is just going to be where we take the number against the i and we make it negative. So negative 2 minus i. We're going to plot y and y bar. Negative 2 plus i, that's y. Negative 2 minus i, that's y bar on the, on the complex plane. So on that, that's, you know, 1, 2, negative 1, negative 2, i, 2, i negative i, negative 2i. So what do we mean by the complex plane? Hey, the length of y, or the absolute value of y, is going to be uh, this distance right here. It's the distance from 0. So what we'll do is we'll just kind of turn it into a right triangle problem. And we know that this has a length of 1, and that has a length of 2. 
So 1 squared plus 2 squared equals the length of y squared, meaning, okay, 1 plus 4 is 5 is the length of y squared, so the length of y is going to be the square root of 5. Okay. Oh, whoops. Maybe that equals there. Yeah. Okay, now finding the values of x that make the equation true, since there's only the one power of x here, there's only x squared, I'm going to be able to solve it this pretty directly. So I'm going to say, all right, 25x squared equals negative 36. Solve for x squared by dividing by 25. Then take the square root of both sides. Okay, and remember when taking the square root of both sides of an equation, we need to remember the plus minus. And then that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to okay, keep the plus minus. I can say that's root 36 over root 25 times the square root of negative 1. Right? It was still negative in there. I'm not really quite right. And then that's going to be plus or minus the square root of 36 over the square root of 25 times the square root of negative 1. So that's plus or minus 6 fifths of i. That's form A. All right, for form B, we're going to do a minus 2b again. And so that'll be 5 minus 2i minus 2 times negative 2 plus 3i. We'll have 5 minus 2i plus 4 minus 6i. So it would be 9 minus 8i. p times q is going to be 3 plus i times 1 minus 3i. And a little bit of foiling. So it's 3 times 1, 3 times negative 3i, i times 1, and i times negative 3i. Wait, no, not negative 3i cubed, negative 3i squared. And so 3 minus 3i squared, that would be 3 plus 3, that's going to be 6, minus 8i there. I think this one's most likely to be the one that's not like what you're seeing on your quiz. But again, the strategy I take is the strategy you would take. We just might get different numbers because we're starting with a different problem. W divided by x, 5 minus 4i divided by, wait, no, 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 w divided by x. So 1 plus i divided by 5 minus 4i. I multiply on top and bottom by the conjugate of the denominator. So that'll be 5 plus 4i divided by 5 plus 4i. Multiplying by 1, so I'm not changing the fraction, but I will get a real number in the denominator because I'm multiplying by the conjugate of the denominator. So I do some FOIL, 1 times 5, 1 times 4i. Inside 2 would be 5i, and the last 2 would be 4i squared. I'm going to be dividing by 25, the positive 20i and the negative 20i would cancel, and I get negative 16i squared. And then I'd get 5 minus 4 is 1 plus 9i, all divided by 25 plus 16 would be 41. So that would be 1 over 41 plus 9 over 41 times i. All right, number 4 asks us to find the values of x that make the equation true. And, but we only have this 1x squared in the equation, so we're going to be able to solve for it directly. So I'm going to start trying to solve that x squared. I've got 49x squared. I'm going to subtract 64 from both sides. And then I'm going to divide both sides by 49. Take the square root of both sides. And that'll bring in a plus minus. And then I'll start simplifying that square root. Okay, I'll take the square root of 64 and the square root of 49 separately. And then I was still negative, so I should have that square root of negative 1. And so I'd have x equals positive root 64 over root 49, square root of negative 1, or the negative of that. So negative 8 over 7i. And those would be my two solutions to the equation. All right, now they're going to want us to work with the complex number, find the conjugate, plot it on the complex plane, and find an absolute value. So y bar, the conjugate of y, well, that's where I take the number that's against i and I make it negative. And in this case, if it's already negative, then I'm going to make it positive. So y bar 
if y is 2 minus 3i, y bar is going to be 2 plus 3i. 2 minus 3i, that's y. And so this will be y bar up there. Okay. And then the absolute value of y is going to be, all right, well, it's going to be the length of this line segment here. Let's see if I can draw that. Yeah, there we go. And so that has a triangle, and it's got uh, kind of a one leg of 2 and another leg of 3. We could look at it as that. And so we could say that 2 squared plus 3 squared equals the length of y squared, which would say that the length of y was equal to the square root of 4, and 9 is 13. For number eight, we're going to find the values of x that make the equation true, and we're going to show the work that leads to our answer. I'm thinking, yeah, unfortunately, this one's not going to be factorable because I can't think of two numbers that multiply to 10 and add to negative 2. So we're going to need to use the quadratic formula. So x will equal negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared, that's 4, minus 4 times a times c, that's minus 40, all over 2a. Now 4 minus 40 is negative 36. Okay, the square root of negative 36 is square root of 36 times the square root of negative 1. Okay, so that's 2 plus or minus 6i all divided by 2. And if I'm dividing it all by 2, I'm dividing both of those things by 2. And so I've got 2 over 2 is 1, and 6 over 2 is 3i, but it was plus or minus, so that's, those are my solutions. Those are the values of x that make the equation true, 1 plus or minus 3i. And yeah, that's going to be all the problems for this quiz, so thanks for watching.